All right, as a 3D designer, I have add-ons or tools that I use on a daily basis. Especially when working on clients' projects, they're very, very essential. These tools actually speed up my work and make my workflow a whole lot smoother. But before we jump into the video, I want to ask you guys to follow me on Instagram, Cosmico Art. Link will be in the description down below. There's a big giveaway coming soon. One of you guys are going to benefit. It's going to be super dope, super fire. So stay tuned. That being said, let's jump right into the video. first add-on or tool that I use on my day-to-day -day basis for Blender, it's called Botanic. For the Botanic, I paid $129 US, and this is actually for the full library, so I have access to all the assets and scatter. Actually, this add-on is my everything at the moment. Ever since I started using Blender, my main goal was to be able to create fields with vegetation or environments with nature, and this add-on does just that. And not only does it allow you to add vegetation, but it actually looks super realistic, and it could be animated. This add-on comes with trees, plants, rocks, pots, uh, palm trees, and vines. So if you're also looking to make nature environments with vegetation, this is the add-on that you need. By the way, before we continue, we are not sponsored by these companies. These are just add-ons that I just started using. I came across them and I just use them on a day-to-day -day basis. So why not? All right, the second one on the list is called Urbaniac. For this one, I paid $41 US. Now, just like it says it on the name, it's all about urban cities. You're trying to create environments with buildings, sidewalks, streets, you know, add some street signs, garbage, some light poles, things like that. This is the right add-on. Pretty straightforward. If you're trying to make urban cities, make them look super nice, super real. Now, last but not least on the list, I got Sanctus or S Sanctus. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the way you pronounce it. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Again, I'm not sponsored by these guys, so. This add-on is actually loaded with a whole bunch of materials and I've actually tried three other add-ons with materials and they do not beat this one. They have from fabric all the way to water, rocks, glass, they have all of it. All while these materials are actually fully adjustable. You can play with some of them, you can play with um, color, roughness, bump, scale. This add-on is actually a lifesaver when it comes to adding um, materials to either your models or your objects towards the end of your composition. So definitely add this one to the list. Now that being said, this was a quick video. I just wanted to give you guys again, the top three add-ons that I use on my day-to-day -day basis. Now, before we end the video, I wanna remind you guys again, follow me on Instagram, Cosmico Art. Cosmico Art link will be in the description down below. Big giveaway coming soon again, I'm saying it. Big giveaway coming soon, so stay tuned. Now that being said, if you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure to drop a like down below. Comment if you wanna see any of these add-ons being talked about in more depth and of course subscribe if you're new to the channel a whole lot of content coming very soon so again thank you guys for watching i'll see you on the next one